In this video, we're going to cover some of the uh, fundamental basic concepts um, to do with a series circuit. If you haven't watched the video um, detailing the analogy for electric circuits, uh, please stop and go and watch that one first, because I'll be using uh, a lot of that analogy during this explanation. We've got a very simple circuit uh, set up here. Um, we have a battery uh, over here. It's a, uh, I think it's a six volt battery. Let me just uh, show that value. Six volt battery, um, and uh, and then in series we have an ammeter here, which is reading a current of 1.5 amps, and that's in series with a light bulb, a four ohm resistor, and that then in series back to the um, back to the battery. Now, if you remember our analogy, um, the battery in our analogy was a table with uh, energy drinks on it. We called them monster drinks. Uh, and then each person coming past the table, uh, the people who like the charges flowing, possibly the electrons moving through the circuit, um, they would pick up their energy drinks in the battery. They would then walk around uh, a path. And uh, in our analogy, the resistor was like a obstacle course. And as they, as the people worked hard to get through the obstacle course, they drank their energy drinks so that they could have energy to get through. And then on the other side, they would then walk back uh, to the uh, drinks table, collect some more energy drinks, and then head off again. And in terms of our simple series circuit, you can see these uh, little balls flowing here represent the charges. As they come through the battery, they collect energy. The ammeter over here is measuring current. Uh, which is simply the rate of flow of charges. And so a, ch uh, a current of 1.5 amps indicates that there is uh, 1.5 coulombs of charge flowing past this point per second. And the first basic concept to understand is that the current all the way around the series circuit remains constant. You can see simply by looking at the rate at which uh, these little circles are moving that uh, that rate remains constant right throughout the circuit. Let's just pull in this uh, little device here, which measures the current in different points. You can see if I put it right near the battery, it's 1.5 amps. If I bring it around to this side, it remains at 1.5 amps. If I bring it down here, 1.5. And no matter where I put it in the circuit, the current remains the same. So the first basic concept for us to appreciate is that within a series circuit, the current remains the same all the way around the circuit. Let's now bring in uh, a voltmeter. And uh, if I take the two terminals of the voltmeter and uh, put it on either side of the battery, it's a six volt battery, so we expect our voltmeter to show six volts. Now what a voltmeter is doing is it's essentially measuring the uh, potential difference between two points which within our analogy, we can imagine it, uh, the one side of the voltmeter is checking how many monster drinks do people have on this side. The other side is checking how many monster drinks do people have on this side. And then the voltmeter indicates the difference between those two. So these charges coming in here would have no energy or no monster drinks. Once they go through the battery, they would come out on this side with six volts of energy or six monster drinks and therefore the difference on the voltmeter is 6 volts. If I move these terminals to a different point, if I say measure from that side of the battery, and we're imagining that those charges are coming out with 6 volts of energy, as they move along here, they're not using up any energy. So if I check there, essentially this terminal is saying it's 6 volts there, this one's saying it's 6 volts there, and the difference between those two is obviously zero, and that's what it's reading there. If we come down to our resistor, the charges coming into the light bulb on this side still have 6 volts of energy. As they move through the resistor, they use up their energy, and it gets, well, they don't use it up, I suppose it, uh, their energy gets transferred to light energy, and they would come out on this side, say, with no energy. So the difference in the reading, it would read, uh, the charges would have 6 volts on this side, they would have 0 on that side, and so the difference between the two would be 6 volts, and that's what our voltmeter is showing there. And so in terms of the concept that's important for series circuit, we can see that the voltage that charges get coming through the battery, that's 6 volts, is used up entirely in the resistors. Now there's just one resistor here, 
uh, in this particular circuit. And so all six volts that chargers receive as they come through the battery are all used as they move through this particular uh, resistor and hence the voltage over it is 6 volts. I've now included a uh, second light bulb in the uh, in the circuit so we now have two 4 ohm resistors in series and immediately you can see that the uh, current has dropped from 1.5 amps it's dropped down to 0.75 amps so it's halved um, and uh, I think you can appreciate that because there is more resistance in the circuit it's harder for the chargers to move through to resistors and hence they move more slowly and uh, and that's why the current drops like that. I don't think we need to spend too much time uh, looking at the fact that uh, current remains constant although it's dropped to 0.75 it remains 0.75 throughout the circuit. Let's have another look at uh, voltage. Um, the uh, voltage of the battery remains 6 volts so charges coming through here, people working past the table still get six monster drinks. But what happens now that we have two resistors or two separate obstacle courses to go to? Well, the sensible uh, idea from the analogy would, that, would be that uh, the people would drink some of the monster drinks here and the rest over here. And uh, because they're both four ohm resistors, uh, indicating that they, uh, um, they're equally difficult to move through, we would expect that half the voltage gets used at the first light bulb. And let's have a quick check. There we go, 3 volts on our voltmeter. So of the 6 volts that charges received, as they come around, 3 volts get used up in the first resistor. And if we go and have a look at the second one, we can see that... Uh, um, let's just pop it on there we can see that 3 volts get used up there. And so 6 monster drinks, go back to our analogy, none get used up until the first obstacle course and 3 of them get used there and then the other 3 are used there and off they go back to get some more. I've now changed the uh, um, resistance of the second light bulb to 8 ohms. Uh, so it has twice the resistance of the first light bulb and um, once again we can see the impact on current. The current has dropped uh, further down to 0.5 amps because of the increased resistance in the circuit. But what's happened to the voltage? The total voltage has remained 6 volts uh, because each charge that comes through the battery gets um, 6 joules of energy per coulomb of charge. And so uh, that's 6 volts. Now, because this first resistor now is easier to move through than this resistor, we would imagine that more voltage would be used in the second than in the first. Back to our analogy, if uh, this um, obstacle course is easier, then we only need to drink a little bit of our uh, energy drinks here. And if this one's much harder, then we're going to drink more of our energy drinks there. And uh, because we've made the numbers easy, this one's twice as hard, 8 ohms, compared to this one, only 4 ohms. So we'd expect twice as much of the voltage to be used here as to be used there. So if we have a quick check on our first resistor, we see that only 2 volts is being used in the first resistor, uh, 2 of the uh, 6 volts, which means that we have 4 volts left to use in this resistor and uh, because this is twice as hard we'd expect twice the voltage so 4 here and 2 there. Let's just have a check on this one and that gives us our reading of 4 volts. So we have 4 volts in this um, over this resistor, 2 volts over that resistor. If you add them together that gives you a total of 6 volts. And that's the second crucial concept um, is that in a series circuit the uh, voltage um, that's uh, provided by the battery is split over all the different resistors that are in series. If those resistors are equal, then the voltage is split equally between them. If those resistors are of differing or varying uh, resistance, then the voltage will uh, be split proportionally with more voltage going to the higher resistors.